Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms, and today we're gonna take the tractor out and do a small driveway repair job. I've also got an appointment that I can't change that's in the middle of the day today. So what I wanna do this morning is get two loads of rock delivered to the property, then I'll go handle my business, then I'll go back this evening and finish up the job. Should be a lot of fun. If you just want to see the driveway repair, you can skip ahead to about six minutes into the video. All I was planning to do this morning was drop these loads and go and not narrate about the way rock is centered in the trailer, but I don't feel real comfortable with it, honestly, and I wanted to show it to you guys, get some feedback on it. I go to this rock yard all the time. I've never had a load that wasn't properly centered, but this rock is perfectly centered over my axles and I think it should be at least 60 40 to the front and I find those way safe gauges that I I've talked about them a lot that way safe shows you how much tongue weight you have you should have 10% I've hauled a lot of dump trailer loads I always get 10 11 percent of my weight onto the truck this trailer with five tons of rock we're at 15,000, 14,500 pounds, somewhere in that range. And that means I should have 1,500 pounds on the tongue. And I'm only reading like 800 pounds on the tongue. So I would say this is a dangerous load. When I go back for the second load, I'm gonna tell them I want the rock further forward. Let's take a look at how it's set up. I know I'm beating a dead horse here, and in a minute, we'll get to the driveway repair job that this video was supposed to be about, but I think it's really important to stress the point that you cannot just trust the loader to get you set up right. But look at the amount of space in front of this rock pile. And the back of the pile is up against the tailgate. That rock is centered on my axles. It's not centered on the trailer. There's a shot of the way safe with that 800 pound reading. And that's just not acceptable. The right thing to do with this load would have been to dump it and have it reloaded properly. Now I'm only about two miles from the rock yard at this location and I just went slow and when I started to get up to speed I could feel it getting a little bit weavy and that's a dangerous situation. Now I'm coming back with the second load that I ask them to place further forward. It seems like these guys load trucks all day. They should just always be able to get it balanced properly, but I think they mainly deal with larger trucks and not so many dump trailers. It's trying to rain on me, but I really want to demonstrate this. If you look at the way this load is centered on my axles, It's moved forward 12 inches maybe, and I've went from 800 pounds of tongue weight to 2,300 pounds of tongue weight, which is just over what this is even rated for. It's dramatic. You move it just a little bit, and you can go from being too little tongue weight and being dangerous too much tongue weight and being dangerous and that went from centering the rock here to centering it here 
I almost feel like I should put a mark right here. Say I want my load centered there. Maybe I can put a mark and a sign here or something because it's critical. I've had the load centered wrong and almost lost control and wrecked my truck. So it really matters. And I don't know how I would figure that out. I think you can guess and get pretty close, but that's why I like the Waysafe so much. Waysafe.com, use code ROCKHILL for 15% off. Now we can finally get started on the project I'm actually here for. All this is, is adding a couple of parking spots next to this house because they have more cars than they have places to park them and this is kind of an unused space here. Now ideally I would cut six inches of dirt out of here, put down a landscape fabric and then large rock and then small rock. But we're not going to do that primarily because if you see the electric pole in the center of this shot, that has underground electrical wiring that runs over to the house and it wasn't run deep enough. And it's actually maybe less than six inches below ground here and we don't want to take the risk of tearing it out. So I'm just scraping the top layer off and then we are going to rock right over top of it. And it's not perfect, but it'll get the job done. We estimated that two loads of rock would do this job and it really needed three loads so I'm gonna bring them another one. I think we basically decided that they're gonna drive on this a little bit and park on it and let it pack in and then I'll bring out another load of the base rock because there were some potholes over by where the rock piles are right now 
and I ended up using some of the crushed rock to fill in those potholes and to cover over a couple of muddy spots which means I didn't get a very thick layer in this new area. My thought process on jobs like these is it's not about me, it's about the customer who had more cars than they had places to park them. At a very affordable price, I've given them some more room to park and I feel good about it. I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos and I'll see you next time.